Hello, dear students, and welcome to a new English lesson. Today's English lesson is for the seventh grade. We are going to talk about Labor Day, and I am Ivana Bokavšek, your English teacher today. Odgojno obrazovni ishodi za današnju lekciju su učenik pronalazi tražene informacije, učenik stvara poster prema zadanim komponentama. For this lesson, you need your notebook and pencil, laptop or tablet with internet connection. And now let's begin with our topic and this mind map. The key word is work, obviously, and we have four other words closely connected to this one. We have worker as a social person who does work. Salary, when you have finished your work, you get your well-deserved salary. When you are a worker, you have your working rights. For example, when you are ill, you can get your sick leave to get well. You have rights to have your holidays. You have rights to have your safe working conditions and proper equipment to do your work. We can't forget working hours. In other words, working time it is really important because they're set by some law acts and we can't work without any time limits. And now a short task to do. You need to continue with this mind map and you need to fill in these blanks with the question marks with the words that are closely connected to the keywords salary working hours worker and working rights so make this mind map in your notebook and make it as wide as you can and now the questions about the following days we have may day Labor Day with the letter U, Labor Day without letter U, and International Workers' Day. The questions are, are they similar or different ones? Are they celebrated on the same date? Do they represent the same thing? Let's find out. International Workers' Day, Labor Day, and May Day are celebrated on the 1st of May all around the world. They celebrate work, workers, working rights. But with one exception here, May Day can also be a day that celebrates something else. You're going to discover it really soon. And one more, it's Labor Day without letter U, celebrated on the first Monday in September in the USA and Canada. As you can notice, we have two words written differently, but with the same meaning, work. And do you know why they are written differently? Because labor without letter U is American English and labor with letter U is British English. And now let's see what May Day is. That day that doesn't celebrate working rights and work. So, it started far back with Celtic tradition, an ancient one. It celebrates spring and fertility. Fertility means the quality of being able to produce young fruit. In Croatian language, it means plodnost. We can say it is also a spring festival where people gather white flowers, green branches, crown, a May king and queen. And now your task is to find one of the many superstitions associated with May Day. You need to read this really interesting article on this link and find this out. On this day, people also set up decorated May trees or maypoles. What is maypole? It's a tall pole with attached ribbons, the ends of which people hold as they dance around it. And we need to mention one more thing. It's a Morris dancing. So it's a ritual folk dance. The dancers often wear white clothes and dance with bells fastened to the legs. And there is a question that you need to find out 
the answer on the following this link is where is it performed? And now one more interesting fact to discover is is the international distress call May Day, May Day, May Day connected to May Day? So read the article following this link and find it out. And now we need to talk about Labor Day or International Workers' Day. To understand the importance of this day, we need to mention Industrial Revolution and uh, the development of the factories in the 19th century, bringing long working hours and children needed to work to earn some money to help their friends and their families uh, to endure and um, to survive poor living conditions and to overcome hunger, as you can see in this photo. Workers were really underpaid and working conditions were really, really poor and unsafe. Poor working class struggled with these living conditions and workers showed their dissatisfaction with their working status in Chicago on the 4th of May in 1886. Haymarket affair in Haymarket riots, in other words, well known for a violent confrontation between police and labor protesters. They were demanding eight-hour working time and no child labor anymore. They were asking also better salaries and working conditions. And due to the labor movement, trade unions had a huge role in fighting for the workers' rights. Trade unions, in other words, labor unions, represent the collective interests of workers. Labor Day, as we have already said, it is uh, celebrated in the USA and Canada the first Monday in September. And as you can see in this poster, it is proclaiming the importance of work and the workers because without work and workers, there won't be any progress, any prosperity, and any well being in any society. So now you need to find out who proclaimed the first Monday in September as a Labor Day and where and when was the first Labor Day celebrated. You will find information following this link. And now a creative task to do. You need to make a poster announcing Labor Day. Don't forget to put title, date, Make up a slogan indicating workers' importance. Use appropriate photos representing workers' symbols and rights. And you can do all this, your digital poster, on the platform following this link. And when you do that, don't forget to do this checklist to check how successful you are making your poster. That's it for today. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day and see you very soon. Bye-bye.